Hello, and welcome to Haverford Systems Brief Guide Made for Solving Acoustically Related Noise Issues. In this brief guide, we're going to talk about three ways of solving acoustical noise issues. Um, we're going to talk about providing speech privacy and preventing eavesdropping, especially in confidentially critical areas. We're going to talk about improving the productivity in noisy environments that can make concentration and focus difficult. Also, reducing workplace stress levels and increasing employee satisfaction. So the first uh, set of the ABCs is absorption. And absorption is the power to absorb sound and reduce echoes, reduce noise, and hopefully remove, remove and soak up unwanted sound. The most common form is suspended ceiling tile. Suspended ceiling tiles, also known as clouds by um, architects, are the most common form of acoustical absorption. So if you have a lot of echoes in your office and you're looking for ways to reduce that, putting in a ceiling, acoustical ceiling tile is the first step to really starting to absorb a lot of that noise and hopefully increase the speech privacy levels at the beginning levels. B stands for blocking. And blocking is uh, cubicle partitions, demountable walls, or interior walls that block sound from traveling into unwanted areas or un at undesirable levels. Uh, most acousticians uh, recommend barriers of at least 60 inches tall for individual privacy in individual cubicle areas. Obviously, blocking um, is seen in a lot of different ways. Um, just having an office in general, walking inside is going to be blocking a lot of sound from outside in the street. Um, so blocking is very important. And when we start talking about C, um, I will reference why blocking is so important in conjunction with um, the next thing we're going to talk about here, which is covering the sound. The sound. That is called sound masking, which is an acoustical treatment for covering unwanted sound. It's sometimes referred to as white noise, although white noise is about a 10-year-old subject uh, term that is used to describe what today we call sound masking. And sound masking uh, makes conversations less intelligible by reducing distractions in a given area and increasing privacy between private offices. Here we have the sound of a male voice captured in a decimal level and frequency chart. You can see over here that Cambridge Sound Management, it, the sound masking is actually emitting a sound that would go on top of the human male speech over here and the speech privacy curve was made for masking this voice and um, Basically, when you have them on top of each other, you may hear someone talking next to you, but it would be too hard for you to really concentrate and understand, actually clearly hear what they're saying. So that's what the basics of what covering the sound uh, does. Um, sound masking is often the most effective standalone option for acoustical improvements. If you have already have drop ceilings and you already have um, cubicle um, partitions and you're still having speech privacy issues, sound masking will be your cost effective way to make sure you can definitely increase your speech privacy, privacy to a level of um, confidentiality. The speech privacy index is what acousticians at Haverford Systems use to judge how well and how um, important your uh, conversations are being masked. So at 80 to 90 percent SPI, uh, it, just to generalize, it would say you can hear people talking, but you have to listen too hard to understand exactly what they're saying. At 95% speech privacy, which is the goal in most management and CEO level areas, you have to listen too hard, no matter how hard you try, you can't understand what is being said in the room next door or the conference room across the hall. So this is the 80 to 95% is the goal for most open plan offices and 95% is the goal for private offices. 
Um, sound masking has a few different uh, approaches, and you, you'll have to ask Haverford Systems which uh, system fits your budget and space. But just briefly, I'll mention here that there are single zone emitters and uh, single zone modules with, that can go up to 30 emitters. Each emitter here does about a 10 by 10 space. So 30 times 10 would give you 300 square feet. Um, then you have the QT200, which can do multiple zones. This gives you two zones, meaning that you may want to have a higher zone, a higher level of sound masking in your hallways as you do in your private offices. Um, so that gives you the ability to do multiple zones and up to 240 speakers. Or, um, oh, I'm sorry, it would be 3,000 square feet with the QT30 and 24,000 square feet with the QT200 because a 10 by 10 space is 100 square feet. Then finally the QT600 which can do up to six zones, 72,000 square feet and you can do IP control meaning you can control the module from your desk any computer on the network with a, a password. This can also do paging for from your reception office and you can also play music from this system as well. There's a lot of flexible mounting solutions that I just wanted to review here. The most popular is obviously the acoustical ceiling tile but we have an enclosure for wooden beams that fit on I-beams and wooden beams. We have an enclosure for steel trusses, we have a drywall mount, and we have a conduit mount. So um, just wanted to briefly say that um, Haverford Systems, the, our entire office has sound masking installed throughout the entire office and was located in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, um, not far from Philadelphia, Lancaster, Reading, or Wilmington, Delaware. And uh, we'd be happy to show off our system. Um, if you have an area that you'd like to try the system, we're happy to come out and do a demo installed for free on you in your office. So we would really like to show you how this uh, would work and can complement your existing office. Um, visit our website for case studies of local businesses who are uh, benefiting from uh, increased productivity and speech privacy. So uh, that wraps up our ABCs of sound masking. Thank you for listening, and please reach out to us on our website.